Hello, welcome to Kazumi Chan Productions. I am Chris, and this is a tutorial on how to do an uh, automatic shadow tutorial for ball or any object with the Maho 12. First off, I'm going to reset the um, scale. Let's go with this red color, draw the ball. doesn't have to be perfect. Now let's rename this little ball. Put it inside its own group. Call this ball. Right click. The hierarchy, convert this to bone. Now the easiest way to do this is just to uh, to add a shadow to your object is to drag it underneath the previous layer. Let's also to set up this uh, mm, Color. So I'm going to lower the opacity down to about right around here. Make sure the auto stroke is off. I'm just turning on the grid just for um, the demonstration sake. So we have a ball with a shadow. But now I'm going to uh, have the shadow react in such a manner that um, that the shadow will follow this ball as it goes up and down. But before I have to do that, I'm going to rig up this ball real fast. Put down the root bone. Click and drag on the canvas for the ball. Now we can click off of everything and create a uh, separate bone all by itself. Now what we're going to add next is another uh, bone. This will be the control for the shadow. Actually, two of these bones are just for the shadow. So first off, I'm going to lower down the influence of the strength down to zero. Let's go ahead and pair these to the bones. So, what I do with the pin bone is just pair this to this bone down here. Let's also go ahead and rename this whole thing called this root bone. Call this ball. Uh, we can call the shadow scale. This is a similar tutorial on how to do shadow that I did about like two, three years ago. But um, I'm trying to make it more um, explainable. <laughs> If that's even a word. So I'm gonna be ankle constraining this bone right over here. And this last one we can call this shadow. Okay. 
Now what I want to do is parent this bone over here to the root bone because if we move it, um, for instance, it's not even falling the um, ball. But I wanted to do that just to follow the object in the air. So in order to do that, I'm going to undo this first, go back to frame zero, go ahead and select the shadow, come over here to the um, bone constraints, go under position control bone, select a root bone, and we might have to play around with these settings. So, um, first off, the very first one is the X, 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 Xs. There you go. And now the second one is the Y axis. Or vice versa. I just don't know yet. So, of course, I had that backwards. So we can put the one. So now in theory, if we uh, move this bone, you see how uh, our ball, our shadow follows the ball precisely. That's what I want to see. Now we have this other problem. Now, how do we make sure that the ball, when it goes up, how do we shrink the shadow? Well, in the long run, this bone is going to control the scale of the shadow. So, what I want to do, to do is um, go into actions and either type in the shadow scale or it will automatically say that go to frame 24 rotate this bone now select the shape of the shadow make sure to select the points now we're gonna shrink down this Um, shape. Did there go? Must down to zero. Okay. Now, if we scroll through this timeline where it's blue, it will actually decrease the size of the shadow. That's what I want. So let's go ahead and. Go to the main timeline. I think this is backwards. So let me copy this um, key frames. Or maybe not. <laughs> Oops. Such so a go out of the uh, timeline. Make sure this is working. Okay. So let's give a short animation to this ball. Let's also shrink this ball so that it will match the stage. A little bit better. Something that looks like this. Okay, well, let's start animating the ball. Press Control F on the keyboard. That will actually freeze the bones into place.
Now on frame 24, we can also do the same thing. We're going to highlight the keyframes, right click it, go to cycle, absolute 2, and that will just make sure that this thing cycles up and down. So instead of translating the layer up and down, I'm going to be for scrubbing the root bone. We'll just go up high like this. The one that comes down, we can just do like this. But as soon as it goes up, I want to make sure that the shadow um, comes as far away as this. So when I play it back, it looks like our shadow is shrinking and expanding as soon as our wall is bouncing up and down. Now what I want to do next is just to uh, have our ball go right to left. So I'm from one. We're going to just drag the ball over here. Frame 96. We're going to just drag it to the other side holding down shift on the keyboard. Let's also limit these frames too. So if we play this thing back, we'll see that the ball is bouncing up and down with the shadow intact. Now this is a good way to uh, automate your shadows underneath your characters too. Anyway guys, this has been Kizumi Chain Projections. I am Chris. I run this channel. Of course, hit that like button for me. And if you like my content, please subscribe and share with any animators within um, YouTube. I'll take down suggestions on what to do um, next. I got the other tutorial in the works, so I will save that tomorrow because my time is limited <laughs> on what I can do. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Bye.